Hi everyone, welcome to Marikar's studio vlog. So today I'm going to talk about the sewing tools that you need to do bridal alterations. Welcome to my channel. And if you would like more contents like this, please subscribe to my channel, hit like, and don't forget to click on the notification bell. Thank you. So I have been sewing since I finished fashion school and I also had the honor to work with a prominent bridal designer, Ramona Kiveja. And from that experience, I've learned a lot, you know, the things that I need to learn in the bridal industry. I also have the opportunity to work with a bridal store that was just short time and you know after having kids so that's when I work from home I do basic alteration so I start with uh, you know pants hemming draperies curtains casual dresses and on the side I also do custom sewing and that's where I also do a bit of bridal custom but that was short-lived it wasn't very successful to be honest but since uh, I have the experience in doing a bit of this and that and I decided to you know, go on a more specialized type of alteration which is bridal alteration because I believe there's money on it especially during summer, it's wedding season and for us, full-time stay-at-home mom we need some extra cash and that's a good option for a work from home while looking after your kids like you hit two birds in one stone all right so to continue um, with the tools bridal alteration it's more complex it's more specialized so of course we also need those special tools for me the serger would be optional because you can do um, a regular french seam finishing and so it's totally up to you that's also would be very convenient if you have a serger especially for bridal there's gonna be a lot of laces there's gonna be beadworks and special patches and special fabrics we're gonna be dealing with tools horse hairs bonings and stuff like that so we need especially sharp scissors we don't want to use dull scissors and I think in any type of alteration that you do because we don't want to ruin the fabrics so we're also gonna need several threads in different colors and different shades and aside from the regular threads we also have uh, the invisible thread and we also have different foot here there's the gathering foot and foot for the zipper and I have the plastic ones they are best when you sew a slippery fabric and we need beading needles perfect for beadworks or when you're doing lace so we have here the embroidery scissors it's perfect perfect for doing lace work and we have the seam ripper a really sharp seam ripper tweezers it's perfect when you're doing lace work especially when you're using invisible thread some sharp pins safety pins tailor's chalk preferably the lighter colors and of course the magic pen or the disappearing pen and we have here a tied pen it is an instant stain remover just in case and some tailor's ham and I have a bust ham so I also have snap fasteners for attaching accessories and I also have these buttons which I use for bustle the hook and eyes are also very helpful to have a standby in different sizes I also have ribbons in ivory and white in a quarter and half an inch as well as a single fold bias like just in case and I also have a fusible interfacing standby just in case especially if you're resizing and so here are the extra zippers horse hair and boning and extra pads since I am a small time alteration seamstress I don't have a lot of supplies mostly I just buy them whenever I have a client who needs this type of alteration but then I stock some of the very basic because it saves you time and it's very convenient like you don't have to go out needle scissors and a steamer like for me it's optional uh, but an iron with built-in steamer would be perfect if you want to do a holistic type of alterations where you also offer steaming then you get a good steamer and one more thing it's very important to have a very good lighting especially when you do hemming and patchwork lace uh, lace work a good lighting is very essential all right thank you so much for watching 
and please don't forget to hit like click on the notification bell and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel i will see you on my next vlog thank you very much if you have more questions and if you would like to know more about bridal alterations please comment on the comment section down below i would be very happy to do more vlogs or answer your questions thank you and have a great day Bye bye